Hi, today I'm playing with the ESP32 and Bluetooth Low Energy. Why waiting for the Bluetooth Low Energy functionality for Arduino? We first use the Espressive IoT development framework for all the Bluetooth Low Energy examples. And I don't want to use the command line, so I use the Eclipse IDE or Integrated Development Environment for our Bluetooth low energy example. We start with a new project and from existing code we built a new makefile project and then we imported the example code into our workspace. I changed the name but you can use whatever you want. And then we go into the properties and set the build command to make because we want to do a makefile project and then we set set all the paths for the include files. We go to C, C++ general and paths and symbols and set all the includes for the GNU C environment. And I use a variable I set in the profile. So if you want to use the variable, I set it in the profile and you have to reconnect to your operation system to use the profile. Now we can change our code if we want and then it's the best practice to build or create some of our make targets. So I do a make target for all, a make target for clean and a make target for flash. And then first I clean all my build directories. Then I do a make for all. And then I take my ESP32 to boot mode and wait. It's waiting for downloading the new firmware. And then I do make flash to flash my new Bluetooth slow energy service into the ESP32. And now I want to display all the logging messages on my screen. So I open PuTTY and reset the ESP32. And now we see there's our hardware address that's shown in the Bluetooth service. And we can have a look at the command sequence because there are four commands. First a reset, then starting the advertising parameters, then the advertising data, and then we start the advertising. Now let's have a look at the bench. I do a demonstration setup with the ESP32 and also with the NRF51822 from Nordic. And I use the Nordic application for my Android device, the NRF Connect, to discover all the Bluetooth low energy services from the devices. So first we very fast discover the two Bluetooth services, Bluetooth low energy services. Then we can look at the raw data on the ESP32. We only see that Bluetooth low energy is the type and the ESP32 name of the service. Then we can have a look at the connection data and some flags but it's only the flag number six and that is a generic BLE only service. So a little closer look. That's only some flags and in the history we can see how strong is our signal and the raw data just mentioned the type and the name of the service. That's all. So we can compare it with the real Bluetooth service with the generic thermometer services. And we have more because we have also a complete UUID for our service. And there's much more advertising data. If you want to read more, you have to read all the gap or generic access profile from the Bluetooth core specification. So thanks for watching today and I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something. So bye bye.